Hallo und herzlich willkommen zu einem neuen Video von uns. This video is all about the last part of the speaking exam. If you have missed the first part of it, you will find the video linked in the info box. Want more tips about the exam? Show us your support with a like. So we'll work on even more German related topics. Happy learning! This video is all about the last part of the speaking exam. I know that speaking is the most nerve-wracking part. For this reason, we have a look at the most important information first. With that, you exactly know what you need to pass the exam. Thereafter, I introduce you to the process, how it works and what you exactly need to do during the exam. Next, we look at useful phrases you could use during the exam and after that we have a look at examples as well. Last but not least, I want to share some tips with you. So the third part is a two-way discussion task. You need to plan something together. Your partner and you do a role play and you receive a personal calendar with various time slots given before the exam starts. You must agree on a time when you both are free. Unfortunately, you have no idea when your partner is free. Neither has he or she. Therefore, you must ask back and forth to figure out a suitable date. The role play must take around three to four minutes. How does the exam work? I already shared a few details with you, but I am going to explain it in more detail now. Step 1. Lese die Aufgabe. You receive your personal calendar and have a brief moment to analyze it. Also, you get the information what you should plan together. Step 2. Versuche das Gespräch mit Hilfe einem Grund zu beginnen. Someone, either your partner or you, must start a conversation with a prompt. Starting with a simple greeting first and switch the topic by inventing a problem and making a natural suggestion based on the topic. Just stay natural. Step 3. Höre zu und diskutiere mit deinem Gegenüber. Listen to their suggestions and discuss them. The aim is not to find as fast as possible an appointment, otherwise you're finished too early. Direct the conversation into a discussion and talk for a while. And lastly, step four, finde eine gemeinsame Lösung. So after some time, you need to find an appointment. Once you have a date, fix it with the time as well and then it's time to say goodbye. Before we look at the examples, I would like to share useful phrases with you for the third part of the exam. Those phrases can be very useful not only for the exam, rather for daily life as well. Learning some of those phrases by heart is therefore highly recommended. As you already know, the aim of this part of the exam is that you must plan something with your speaking partner. After you greeted each other, you must invent a kind of problem or a reason why you need to fix an appointment together. Do not start right away with the question of when she or he is free. Make a suggestion. You could say something like Ich habe eine Idee. Wir könnten gemeinsam ein Geschenk kaufen. I have an idea. We could buy a gift together. Ich schlage vor, dass wir gemeinsam die Geburtstagsparty planen. I suggest that we plan the birthday party together. Was hältst du von der Idee, dass wir uns am Abend treffen? What do you think of the idea that we meet each other in the evening? Or maybe your partner already made a suggestion and you react with another. For example, Sollten wir nicht lieber gemeinsam ein Geschenk kaufen? Should we not do buying a gift together? 
If your partner has started a conversation, you could accept a suggestion by saying, Ja, das finde ich gut. Yes, I like that. Gerne. With pleasure. Prima. Einverstanden. Great. Agree. Schön. So machen wir das. Nice. Let's do that. Maybe you don't agree. Feel free to say, das gefällt mir nicht so gut. I don't like that. Ich bin anderer Meinung. I disagree. Ich weiß nicht. I don't know. However, once you found a reason for planning something together, you need to fix a date. If you want to do so, you could ask, wann hast du Zeit? When are you free? Wollen wir uns am Freitag treffen? Would you like to meet on Friday? Passt es dir am Freitag um 8 Uhr? Would Friday at 8 p.m. suit you? Wie sieht es bei dir nächste Woche aus? What's your time schedule next week? There are so many useful phrases. And by the way, I've created a list with even more useful phrases. You find the list in a handout linked down below in the info box. Okay, after you know about the process and some useful phrases, it's time to have a look at some examples. The task is here about finding a date when both of you are free to buy a birthday gift for your mutual friend Patrick. You both have received different timetables and have a brief moment to check your schedule. As you can see, both of you are very busy, but I'm sure there's a day and a time when you can meet. Let's have a look at how a possible conversation could look like. Okay, so the woman starts the conversation with Hallo Andreas, du bist doch auch am Geburtstag von Patrick eingeladen. Hast du schon ein Geschenk? She asks her if her partner also got invited by their mutual friend and she acts like she has no idea of it. Without even waiting for the answer, she invents a kind of a problem, the birthday gift. The other person simply answers, Hallo Cornelia, nein, leider nicht. It was simple but very important that he acted like he does not have a gift for Patrick as well. A perfect way to start a conversation. The wrong way would be if she asked, Hallo, kaufen wir ein Geschenk für Patrick? Bist du frei am Samstag? Hello, let's buy a gift for Patrick. Are you free on Saturday? As already explained, you need a prompt, a reason to meet each other. And also, do not forget to greet each other. Now, she is directing the conversation into a discussion. She makes, she makes a suggestion. Ich habe eine Idee. Wir könnten gemeinsam ein Geschenk kaufen. Gefällt dir meine Idee? I have an idea. We could buy a gift together. How do you like my idea? And he agrees with, das ist eine gute Idee. That's a good idea. In this example, the woman is the leader of the conversation and yes, someone has to be. Do not count on it that your partner will lead the conversation and be ready to take that role. Now it's time to compare the timetables. For this reason, she asks directly with, Super, was hast du nächste Woche vor? Great, when are you free next week? He answers with, Lass mich kurz in meinen Terminkalender schauen. Montag habe ich noch nichts vor. Let me check my appointment calendar. I'm free on Monday. It's her turn to check her own time, time schedule and answers, Montag kann ich leider nicht. Wie wäre es mit Samstag? Unfortunately, I'm not free on Monday. How's Saturday? Well, maybe you remember her time schedule. If not, here it is. She's free on Saturday. And he's not. If you look closely, he is not busy the whole day, only in the evening. For this reason, he answers, Samstag habe ich am Abend ab 21 Uhr was vor, ansonsten bin ich frei. 
On Saturday, I'm only busy from 9 p.m. Otherwise, I'm free. I guess we have maybe found a suitable day and time when both could buy a gift for Patrick. And yes, that's right. She answers, Prima. Einverstanden. Dann sehen wir uns am Samstag. Wir können ja noch gemeinsam Mittagessen gehen. Was meinst du? Very good. Let's see each other on Saturday then. We could eat lunch together too. What do you think? So she accepts his suggestion and he confirms that with Das passt super. Bis dann. Yes, that's perfect. See you. And ends the conversation. Well, probably this conversation did not last three to four minutes and your partner and you should definitely talk a little bit longer. But that's what it could look like. Now, we have to look at another example where I do not explain every single step of those two people. So, in this example, you want to do something which, with each other in the evening. As already mentioned, I'm not going to explain every single sentence in detail, but we'll translate it for you in English as well. After the conversation, I have the time to explain the conversation a little bit. It would also be a very good exercise to pause the video and think of a possible conversation by yourself. After you've done that, you can continue with the video and check if your conversation is similar to mine. Well, let's start with the conversation. Oh, hi George. Schon eine Ewigkeit nicht mehr gesehen. Wie geht es dir? Oh, hi George. We haven't seen each other for a long time. How are you? Hi Bettina, das stimmt. Mir geht es gut und dir? Hi Bettina, I'm doing good. How are you? Mir geht es auch gut. Wie lange ist es her, seit wir uns das letzte Mal gesehen haben? I'm doing good too. How long haven't we seen each other? Puh, sicher ein ganzes halbes Jahr. Wir sollten unbedingt wieder einen Filmabend machen. Wie in den alten Zeiten. Who? Definitely over a half year. We should do our movie night sometime. Like in the good old days. Das ist eine gute Idee. Einverstanden. Wie sieht es bei dir diese Woche aus? That's a great idea. Agree. How's your time schedule this week? Hm. Lass mich in meinen Terminkalender schauen. Also heute Abend, Montag, bin ich eigentlich frei. Passt dir das? Hmm, let me check my appointment calendar. Well, I'm free this evening, Monday. Would that suit you? Nein, leider nicht. Ich bin zum Essen bei meinen Eltern eingeladen. Meine Mutter hat schon eingekauft. Da kann ich nicht absagen. No, unfortunately, unfortunately not. My parents invited me for dinner, and I'm sure my mother already did the groceries. I can postpone it. Kein Problem. Wann bist du frei? No problem. When are you free? Lass mich schauen. Samstag habe ich nichts vor. Würde es dir da passen? Nein, leider nicht. Ich bin ab 21 Uhr an einer Party. Wie sieht es bei dir sonst aus? Dienstag oder Mittwoch vielleicht? No, I'm at the party at 9 p.m. What does it look like on the other days? Tuesday or Wednesday maybe? Dienstag passt mir gar nicht. Da habe ich den Englischkurs und er findet am Abend statt. Hm, Mittwoch. Am Mittwoch habe ich zwar Basketballtraining von 18 Uhr. Das sollte jedoch circa zwei Stunden gehen. Das heißt, ich bin ab 20 Uhr frei. Wie sieht es bei dir am Mittwoch aus? Tuesday does not suit me. I have an English course in the evening. Hmm, Wednesday. On Wednesday I have basketball training from 6 p.m. But that should not take longer than two hours. That means I'm free at around 8 p.m. What does it look like on Wednesday for you? Mittwoch gehe ich mit Claudia einkaufen. Aber ich glaube nicht, dass wir drei Stunden unterwegs sein werden. Ich glaube, Mittwoch passt für mich. On Wednesday, I go shopping with Claudia, but I'm sure that it should not take longer than three hours. 
I think Wednesday is fine for me. Super, dann lass uns am Mittwoch unseren Filmabend machen. Wie immer bei mir, ich mache leckere Nachos und Popcorn und du besorgst die Getränke. Ich freue mich sehr. Perfect, then let's do our movie night on Wednesday. As usual at my place, I will do my tasty nachos and some popcorn and you could organize drinks. I'm looking forward to it. Ja klar. Ich gehe ja sowieso mit Claudia einkaufen. Da kann ich gleich was mitnehmen. Ich auch. Dann bis Mittwoch. Yes, sure. I go shopping with Claudia anyways, so I can bring some drinks. Me too. See you on Wednesday. Ja, bis Mittwoch. Yes, until Wednesday. Okay, that's it. That's how a conversation should look and sound like. The task itself was quite open. The only thing that was predetermined was that they want to see each other in the evening. Those two people made it up that they haven't seen each other for a long time. They also invented movie nights, which they always did in the past. I know the speaking task doesn't make a lot of you guys nervous. And I was always nervous about the speaking exams as well. But with a lot of speaking exercises where you talk about such things as planning something with each other, it definitely will help to calm down a little about it. Whenever you have to plan something in your own language, try to speak with someone in German about the same thing. It's important to speak as many German as possible. Next, I suggest that you should learn those useful phrases I've mentioned before in this video and try to apply them whenever you speak in German. And of course, practicing is the best when you have a speaking partner. There are so many ways to find yourself a partner. It doesn't matter if he or she speaks in German on the same level or maybe even a little bit better. The only thing that matters is that you have someone you can speak German with. That's it for this video. I hope it was useful for you. As mentioned before, leave a feedback in form of a like, comment or follow. Thank you so much for watching and happy learning. Bye.